that's the seminar. So, the second point, Excellency, is electricity. The third one, those people who talk about private sector aid growth, private sector aid growth. I have been trying to borrow money for our UDB, Uganda Development Bank, a bank which funds manufacturers. No, you don't, I don't get support for that. Instead, they want me to go, my people to go to commercial. I hear you, Mr. President, and you're loud and clear, you know, and all that you say, they're all valid. Starting from a railway as the cheap means of transport in development, coming to electricity, and now borrowing of loans, this is where I don't get it. Because after close to four years, four, I mean, four decades in leadership, you cannot tell me that you can still want to depend on loan. And you said it very well in your presentation while in Kenya. You said it very loud and clear that the, the, the Tanzanians did it during Magufuli's time. And I want to take you back, uh, look at Burkina Faso during the time of Captain Thomas Sankara. In a space of less than five to six years, they were able to do stuff on their own. And we, as Uganda, you may mention it, that we are very rich, we are very wealthy. But still, how do you still, in this day and age, in this era, you still want us to depend on loans? Oh, Mr. President, you can give us a break. I mean, the loan cannot support us. The loan cannot take us any further. And in these four decades, I think that you could do better. And I think that you should be in a better position to run. now give an accountability to Ugandans on what you have done to that country, a lovely country, the pearl of Africa, so rich but yet poor in the leadership and all that. I want us to be clear, Mr. President, with all the goals, all the minerals, with all the tourism sites in Uganda, the lovely country, my country, how dare you say that we should be going to borrow loans? How dare you?